there is some um, questions about uh, insulin resistance and diabetes and low carb diet. Um, is it possible to have a normal uh, fasting blood glucose but still be metabolically unhealthy? Well, I mean, I can answer that from the first part of my talk. In, in, the, initial, in the initial section where the insulin starts to rise on that graph, there's still enough insulin there to keep your blood sugar normal. It's not until that's been happening sort of for five, seven years that you start to develop the insulin resistance. And at that point, your blood sugar starts to rise, and that's seven years too late to diagnose you as a diabetic. You should have been diagnosed five to seven years earlier. So, so doctors might just do a, um, a once-off fasting blood glucose test and send you off on your way thinking that you're metabolically healthy when, in fact, there's, it's not quite right. Uh, the, the, the best test is, that, is the, the glucose tolerance test with insulin. Do you need to ask your doctor for that test, or why would you have that test if you don't think there's anything wrong with you? Well, maybe first, the first part of your question there, a show of hands from the doctors here. Just raise your hand if you're a doctor. Now raise your hand if you order insulin testing at the same time. So we're in an uh, enlightened audience here, but probably about 50-50. So you can ask your doctor for the test, but not all doctors are familiar with the test. And ought you do it? Absolutely. You'll pick up insulin resistance and metabolic derangement far earlier. I think you have to be careful going and asking a doctor for a test, because if the doctor doesn't know how to interpret the results, it doesn't help you and it doesn't help the doctor. So, you know, there, there needs to be a balance. Yes, we've got to be our own advocates, but you, if you're worried about something like that, you need to go and see a doctor who understands the test and what it means, not just go to your regular doctor who may not understand. Now, we're not trying to change people from one doctor to another. That's not really the issue. But to go to a doctor that doesn't understand the test and ask them to do it is probably inappropriate.